Hello friends, this is Bryant with SFFT Source, your premier unofficial guide to Six Flags Fiesta Texas. I'm here with Hilda, Hi. who is substantially shorter than I am, <laughs> but we're trying to make it work. And we are at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, finally, I haven't been here in about two months. We are here for Holiday in the Park and we are here for the American Coaster Enthusiast event, Feliz Fiesta. So we're going to enjoy a lot of specialty activities, we're going to enjoy some ERT, we'll show you guys some of the Christmas shows, we'll go around and look at any construction progress happening on their new attractions. Pirates of the Deep Sea opens here pretty soon. And uh, we'll check out some specialty foods and anything else we can find. This will be split up into a few videos. We'll have another video for the exclusive Pirates of the Deep Sea construction tour, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, we might have some other special videos for you guys. Let's go ahead into the park. We are checked in and inside the park, and just to show you guys kind of a schedule of our events, we did not ride Superman Krypton Coaster first. It's pretty chilly outside, but they did hook us up with Roadrunner Express, so that was very fun. And you can see we have a Pirates of the Deep Sea tour, Quarry Wall Twilight Walking Tour. We'll have our dinner, and then we have reserved show seating. And then ERT on Golden Lasso Coaster at the end of the night. Hopefully we are not frozen by then. And just like they always do here at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, they do have specialized maps for Holiday in the Park. And uh, I just noticed something. It looks like all of the shows only run till December 23rd. So if you want to see the holiday shows that they have, make sure you get out here before then. We're over here in Crack Axle Canyon next to the Texas Gunslinger. You can see Panda Express is gone for the season and permanently. All the Panda Express restaurants at every Six Flags Park are leaving. Over here in the Thirsty Buffalo Saloon to uh, see if they have any specialty holiday drinks. It looks like they only have the holiday beer flights. Um, and they come with an order of uh, chips and queso for free. So they don't have the uh, packages like they did before, but they do have the uh, beer flights. Oh, I was also just told that you could get spiked or unspiked apple cider. So if you need a warm drink, there you go. And you can get spiked hot cocoa. So that's cool. Can you even see that sign? I don't know. But there's your two uh, spiked hot drinks that you can get here. Here at uh, Bubba's Cafe and here there are Holiday in the Park. Oh dear. Holiday in the Park food offerings, which is the uh, loaded holiday fry and the uh, fried green tomatoes. Both of these, well, the fried green tomatoes is a snack and the uh, loaded holiday fries is a meal. So there you go. Just so you guys have a reference, this is at Bubba's River Cafe, which is right across from Gully Washer, which is running. It is very cold. So Santa's Cottage, which is where you meet Santa, is also right here next to Bubba's River Cafe. So this area that was actually for eating, they turn into Santa's Cottage. And if you want to meet Santa, you can do it here. I'm actually going to go over. Uh, they do have a photo package. We'll see how much this is. Here's a look at their Santa photo packages. And uh, you can see for members and season pass holders, that main package is $49.99, normal $59.99, and then of course they have a few cheaper packages. Feel free to pause the video so you can see this. Um, it doesn't look like uh, they charge you to uh, just sit with Santa like they do at Over Texas. If you guys want to do the Holiday Express, you can get on the Fiesta Texas Railroad. They have a bunch of lit scenes like you can kind of see here. And uh, you can enjoy a nice holiday themed ride. Keep in mind you can only get on at Whistle Stop here in Crack Axle Canyon. You cannot get on at the Dirt Pilger Bonhoeff Station, which is the one over in Spassburg. So over here outside of Lone Star Lil's Amphitheater, it looks like they do a fountain show each night beginning at 6 p.m. called H2 Ho Ho Ho. And they use their uh, fountain from Celebrate. And then if you turn around here at night, is where they do the Holiday Falls, which is the projection show. So we'll have to come back around later on tonight to check that out. And then, of course, if you swing around this way, the tunnel to Spassburg is where Winter Wonderland happens, which is a cool little light show with music. So lots of stuff in this one little area for Holiday in the Park. All right, guys, as you can see, the Twister in Spassburg is gone. They have completely removed it to make way for the brand new Joker wildcard attraction that is coming. There's not really much to look at here. I mean, it's completely gone. Um, there was a game stand right there where that pad is, but um, as you can see, gone. 
this was like this last time we were here. We were here. We just didn't document it. Um, they have actually taken a lot of the chairs and other pieces off of Whirly Gig because they're going to refurbish it and retheme it to Crime Wave when this area becomes DC Universe. So as you can see, they have uh, mildly started on this project as well, and uh, we're not really sure when this ride will reopen. It. I'm assuming it'll probably reopen with Joker, which I believe is scheduled to reopen in June. In front of Funalicious at the Rockville area, they do have some specialty foods on the uh, snack dining pass, and you can see here a bunch of fried stuff. Please pause if you'd like to look at that, just to give you guys an idea of where this is. It is here in Rockville, like I said, across from Batman the Ride and the uh, Gotham City gift shop. So we'll go check out, oh my gosh, here he comes. It's a toy soldier on stilts and he's coming to destroy the plant, I mean to take pictures with the kids. We uh, fast forwarded through the park a little bit, we're over here in the Spassburg section and uh, just wanted to show you guys the Simply Southern store which is right across from Studio 6F. We posted about this on social media but just to show you guys since we haven't shown it in a picture yet. As you can see, the Pirates of the Deep Sea sign is up, and uh, the inside of this looks absolutely amazing. We'll have a separate video of a uh, construction tour just to show that to you guys. That video is going to be coming out shortly after this one. Here at Totally Kickin' Chicken, I know we're jumping around the park here. We're actually trying to find a snack. Here at Totally Kickin' Chicken, they do have some specialty food items, and uh, they have buffalo chicken waffle cone, honey barbecue chicken waffle cone, and fried pickle fries, which are all a snack on the dining pass. So we're actually gonna get one of these, maybe. Here's a uh, look at that uh, honey barbecue chicken waffle cone, which is a snack on your dining pass. And uh, they sure did honey barbecue that bad boy. There is a lot of honey barbecue. It looks like this uh, comes with two chicken strips inside of a waffle ice cream cone. So they're at the forefront of innovation here at Totally Kicking Chicken. We're over here at Heroes. Uh, by the way, that uh, chicken waffle cone thing wasn't the worst thing I've ever had, but we're over here at Heroes, which is in Los Festivales. This is the Justice League store, and you can actually get s'mores here. So um, if you're a Diamond or Diamond Elite member, you get one of these free each season. So we might utilize that later because it is very chilly. We're here in Los Festivales, kind of near the front, near Boomerang, and this is where the Magic of the Season ornament is. This is a uh, something new for Holiday in the Park this year, and it is humongous, but it's a huge ornament that they actually built in park by their employees, and uh, it lights up, and it's a great photo op. So when you come over to Texas State Square here in Los Festivales, make sure you get that picture. There is also a stand up here that has hot chocolate and uh, looks like fudge brownies and jumbo cookies in there. Uh, we'll get a little bit closer so we can see how much things cost. So the stand over here also has churros. You can see the price of everything. And uh, if you do get one of the hot chocolate souvenir cups, you can refill that here as well. So if you're over here in Spassburg, we did leave Los Festivales and you come right by Studio 6F and Spites' Sweets. This is where the singing saps are this year. Last year they were in Kidsopolis. The year before that, they were by fin the Fender Bender bumper cars. But now they are next to Studio 6F, which is a good spot for them. And uh, they're not going yet because they start at 6 and it is not 6. But but at 6 p.m. through the end of the night, you can enjoy the singing sets. They are animated trees that sing holiday favorites. Here at Studio 6F, and just like at Six Flags Over Texas, they are selling these plushes. And if you buy one, they give one. And um, basically everyone that's purchased is also donated to those in need. So like I said before, a cool little thing Six Flags is doing. Also here in Studio 6F, they have uh, these ornaments. They're not park specific, so it's just a holiday in the park ornament. And then it says Six Flags on the other side. They do have the trees too, and I believe they say they probably have an emblem that says Fiesta Texas on them somewhere. I just can't see. They do have bears here. I've never seen the bears, so the bears are in a $12.99, so not too bad. And then they have the typical uh, stuff, which we saw at Over Texas, which are these hats and the uh, silly sweaters. So, not much in terms. I guess they have some more stuff over here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff. They have, like, these jumpsuits and 
If you want some Christmas lights, they do have a couple hats and stuff. It is a little chilly, so that is nice. And um, they do have these more heavy-duty sweaters here, which are the $34.99 like they are at Six Flags over Texas. So a little bit of a selection, just not a lot of um, personalized stuff, which is what I really like. Here inside Sanger Fest Hall is where you can see you have yourself a Looney Tunes Christmas, which plays through December 23rd. So you can grab yourself some food and um, watch a show. We have those show times on our main website. There are specialty uh, food items in here as well. Uh, I don't see a sign for them, but they are um, on the dining pass, and we do have a full list of them at sffdsource.com. We've actually decided to skip the uh, clifftop tour that they are doing for American Coaster Enthusiasts because this is really going to be our only chance to watch the Tinsel Tones show and uh, we also want to see the Christmas tree lighting because it is very cool here and worth watching.
over here in uh, Spassburg in front of Bugs Whitewater Rapids, they have another fire pit. So that's another fire pit addition this year. Here is a look at the magic of the season ornament at night. It's huge. I don't even know how I'm supposed to take a picture with this. The actual biking town that was here a few years before, six months, we got some Texas open. As we go through, it's custom to everybody scream as loud as you can. No. Uh, oh, they left the waterfall on. Yeah. And it's and it's misty. Oh, yeah. Enjoying the Holiday Express right now, which they gave the final ride to Ace, so we're very thankful to uh, yes to Texas for that. <laughs> Get a fun shot of Wonder Woman over there. Man, funnel issues. Get a shot of the Rockville Christmas tree. There it is. Some fun little light up things over here. You guys can see the ornament back there and all the Christmas lights they have in most festivals. You want to see the singing sacks as well as Bugs Whitewater Rapids. This is one of the original rides here at the park, a very own food ride, and it's uh, pretty cold. Here's Boomerang. Some people have too cold to ride water rides. On the drop, and speeds up just 70 miles as well as a few inversions. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this trip to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. It is the next day, and I did forget to make an outro last night. But we had a great time. Uh, it wasn't too busy because it got really cold. Um, when it got really cold, it did affect some of the rides, so that was kind of a bummer. But that's just one of those things that happens during these holiday events when uh, the weather's not cooperating. Sometimes you lose some of the rides you want to ride. But we loved the brand new show out at the park. It was fantastic. Uh, of course, all the shows were fantastic. And um, they seem to have the same kind of group of performers doing all the shows. So... Um, they're putting in a lot of hard work to make sure those shows are happening, so uh, we're very appreciative of that. And I did confirm with the park that those shows end on December 23rd, every single show. Um, so keep that in mind when you're planning your visit to Fiesta, Texas. Uh, normally shows will run past New Year, a couple of them, but not this year. They're all ending December 23rd. We really liked the new Magic of the Season ornament. That thing is humongous, and it is a really cool photo op. Just a nice little touch to their holiday in the park event. Uh, one thing about Fiesta Texas is um, their, their Christmas lighting situation has always just kind of been okay. Um, and that's just kind of a result of the era in which Holiday in the Park began at that park. And uh, it, hasn't, it just hasn't really progressed because that's just kind of what happens at these Six Flags parks. Um, it's not their fault. But that uh, Magic of the Seasons ornament definitely adds a nice touch uh, because it is a very impressive, lit piece that the, they uh, built inside the park. 
Make sure to check out our Holiday in the Park 2018 guide at sfftsource.com. That'll give you everything you need to know, show times, in-depth information, interactive map. And of course, if you have any questions, please ask us in the comments below. Ride Rivalries 2018 is also happening right now. That is where you can vote on your favorite attractions at Fiesta Texas, your favorite roller coaster, flat ride, water ride, water park attraction. Please make sure you guys vote. We'd love to see what everyone's favorite rides are. And uh, that voting ends on December 14th. If you'd like some uh, merchandise with our logos on it, you can go to the description below. We have that link there. So we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon. Yeah.